Chris Bowen, and uh, welcome to life. This is my uh, first solo exhibition I've, uh, I've been put on. Basically, life. This has been a couple series I've been working on for the past three and a half years now that have started as visions in my head that have eventually become what you see today. It's a mixture of printmaking, photo interactive installation, traditional black and white 4x5 film. And the black and white series is all of Savannah at night. It's titled 4AM all shot between 1 and 4 a.m. at night using a 4x5 field camera. The printmaking series is a monotype series called the Bull Shuffle. Basically, I took my iPhone, put it on shuffle. Every song that came on, I had a big uh, platter of ink all set up. I'd stare at it, take in the song, and then create, And which is why there's the QR codes. Because I want the person to actually hear and listen what I was listening to which created that piece of work. Panoramic series has been something that has been stuck in my head. No lens can capture what you have here and I want the viewer to actually step into the image and feel like they're stepping into my life at that time, a certain part of my life. So I took 9 to 12 images from taking my feet all the way up and hand stitched manually um, them together so they would look smooth as if one picture was taken. Out of the black and whites, this is my all-time favorite one of the black and whites. Right down the street from my house and like the whole, this whole series is based off of Alfred Stieglitz, um, one of my favorite artists, surrealist artist. It's my view on Savannah at night, you know, it's a beautiful place during the day but at night the shadows are so heavy dark that you can't see them because you never know what's in the shadows. It's called perfect timing. As you can see, gallery is on 420. The clock says 420. I just bought those shoes in this picture. We're on my way back from DC to Savannah. Have my picture portrait right there. It's 420, so it's understood. Then here up top, you got where I work, Abe's life. At first, these two were single pieces, but I saw them together when I was laying them out, and it was a diptych, and so it created a whole another image of itself. And then I'd have the same my video. Got it done in about three and a half days. Had one of my friends help me with it because I obviously never done video in my life, but it was a very good learning experience. And um, it turned out a million times better than I could even imagine. And I basically been shooting that whole video on my iPhone for five weeks, not having any clue of how I was gonna put it together, just shooting, because that's life. It's the things that people don't remember and they forget. Um, got a lot of good negative and positive feedback about the panoramics. You know, this is the first time I've put out work like this, and a lot of people have said they've seen work like this where you can actually step into it and be interactive with it. So I think now it's all about figuring out how to present them better, you know? Everything in this gallery has been, I could not have gotten it done without helping my friends and collaborating with people, artist teams, friends, 